worldwide. Hello everyone, I'm TG and I'm here to talk to you about this amazing game, Aliens Fireteam Elite. Today I want to show you guys my favorite gunner build to use in Horde. This build is all about your grenade, but it doesn't sacrifice too much on the overclock, so you're still going to be able to help the team out and take those elites down. But you're also going to be able to do huge damage in a wide radius and stun enemies non-stop. So let's stop talking about it and dive right in and get you guys your Horde gear. So first and foremost, let's look at stay on target. I'm not attaching anything to it. Dealing damage grants you bonus damage stacks and they stack up to 10 times, going to 20%. Looking at overclock, it's gonna greatly increase the fire rate for you and allies and increase your reload speed by 50%. On that, I'm going to attach quick load interlink, which causes overclock to now instantly reload your gun and give your team the 50% reload speed buff. Next, I'm gonna be attaching thermal venting, which causes overclock to further increase your fire rate by 25%. And then finally, we are attaching Smart Link Reliability Circlet, which causes Overclock to now increase your team's stability by 25% and your own aim assist by 50%. So as you can see, we're all about the frag grenade here. You throw a grenade and it deals damage in a large radius. I'm attaching Remote Detonator to that, which means when you throw the grenade, you have the choice to detonate it or wait until it goes off on its own so you can really pick the optimal time to blast away the enemies. I'm then going to be using Shrapnel, which causes your grenade to cause targets to bleed, taking an additional 50% of the blast over 10 seconds. Then I'm using Disorienting Blast, which will knock down everyone that you hit with your frag grenade. Finally, we're going to modify it with Rapid Deployment, which increases the recharge speed of this ability by 20%. And on top of that, we're stacking the Phalanx batteries included, which is another 20% reload speed and enhanced reach four, which is going to increase the radius by 22%. And finally, we're going to be using force multiplier two, which increases the damage by 13%. So did you get all that? We're increasing recharge speed by 40%, radius by 22%, damage by 13%. Your grenade is going to knock down opponents and make them bleed for 50% of the damage from the blast over 10 seconds. And the cooldown is only going to be 22 seconds. So as you can see, the Xenos will be on the elevator to hell going down. To finish off the grid, I'm using Focus Fire, which means damaging a target causes them to take 2% more damage, stacking 5 times to 10%, and Suppressing Fire, which slows the target by 5% per stack of Focus Fire. So there's the perks, but as you know, you are nothing without your mighty weapons of war. So I'm using one of my favorites, the Type 88 Automatic Fire Heavy Assault Rifle. This thing hits like a truck. It's got a little bit of stability issues, but that's offset by the fact that you can just use short controlled bursts and you'll be able to get your bullet going where you need it to go. The reason I'm choosing this one for Horde is because it hits so hard. Because in Horde, it's all about getting Xenos down as soon as possible. The Type 88 has no problem doing that. And once you've popped Overclock, this thing hits like a truck. Next is what I consider the most underutilized weapon in the game, the X-43 Barrage Fletchet Automatic Fire SMG. I slept on this thing for so long, but once I tried it out, especially with Overclock, I was sold. This thing's output, DPS-wise, is higher than any shotgun in the game whenever you're shooting an elite point blank. Couple that with its massive ammo capacity, which you can push up to 800. This thing has been at my side ever since I first pulled the trigger. You'll have no problem melting any elite and you'll have ammo to spare. So that's the build. I hope you guys try it out yourself and I hope it helps you out just a little bit. And don't forget, if you love Aliens Fireteam Elite, stick around the channel for live streams and more builds down the road. And as always, I'm TG. If you like what you saw, you know what to do.